Good morning, Jeremy here from Flatware Creations. I was just making some bracelets and a lot of people have asked the question, how do you get the ripples once you bend the spoon? How do you get the ripples out? Um, so I'm just going to show you um, what I do to prevent the, the little ripples. Um, sometimes you get them with some spoons, they just want to crinkle, but uh, I'm pretty close to having almost no ripples in any of my spoons. Uh, so I just wanted to show you real quick the technique I use. I have my, my anvil. I put a piece of brown board on top of it. It's a hard board just to protect the spoon. Um, and then I'm using a uh, one and a half pound dead blow hammer. Um, it has sand inside it or something that once you hit, it doesn't bounce back up like a hammer. So I'll use this to finish them. If I do get some ripples, I'll take and tap down the middle and get those little wrinkles out of there. Um, depending on what I do with the spoon, if it's gonna be a wind chime part, it doesn't matter as long as it gets flat. Um, but if it's something like I'm gonna make a pendant out of it, like the, the giraffe I just started, um, all the black holes are gonna come out. But for this, I want nice and even. So some spoons will become the silhouettes and some will become um, parts for wind chimes, but I just wanted to show you real quick because it's going to be loud, so I don't want to make it real, very long, um, what I'm doing here. And I have, I think, about 50 more uh, pieces of, or spoons that I have to um, flatten out, but I'm just going to grab a couple here, um, see if I can get one that will crinkle. This guy here usually will. So we're going to do First Love, and this one I'm pretty sure is Heritage. Um, so they have a little bit different thicknesses. And we're doing this one. I forget what it's called, what the pattern is. Um, I'll look it up later. So we'll do these real quick, and I'll show you um, how the crinkles go. Always wear your safety glasses. So what I'm doing is I'm going to hit the spoon. So here's the spoon. I'm going to put my hammer hit right here. I want to get this back part, uh, the heel. I want to get this part flattened first. So it's already started to flatten in the back. That's what we want. And then I work my way forward, or towards the tip. Flip it over. Couple of wax. And we got a nice flat bowl with no real ripples. So let's try the Heritage next. Same thing. I'm going to hit right back here. And I've got it flat. And I'm going to move towards the tip. And there's a little tiny ripple in there, but that can be fixed with the other hammer. So I always want to make sure everything is straight so that whenever I do my measurements, it's a lot easier. So again, we're going to just start with the heel. And I am kind of adjusting the spoon here to be able to uh, get that flat spot or to get it where I where I want it And there we go another nice flat without the crinkles Without the real bad crinkles um, 
I don't have a bigger one of these. They make them bigger. But if you're doing like I have to pound out a whole bunch of these guys. Probably have 20 or 30 there. Um, but because I'm doing so many at one time, I'll stand up, make sure everything's tight here, and just hammer away for a while. Um, so I hope that helps you um, with the crinkles um, and uh, help you. All right, <laughs> that's it. Uh, I hope you guys all have a great day. Um, like, share, and subscribe. And somewhere in the video will be a link to follow us and a video to take you to something else I've done. So I hope you guys all have a great day. And I will see you later.